Hello and welcome to Verified Live. Let's start with that breaking news in New York, where in the last few minutes, Sam Bankman-Fried has been sentenced to 25 years for what's been called one of the biggest financial crimes in U.S. history. These are the live pictures from outside of the court. The 32-year-old founded the cryptocurrency exchange FTX, which made him a billionaire before it collapsed in spectacular fashion. He's just been found guilty of uh, fraud and money laundering or sentenced for fraud and money laundering. And these, the pictures from the court, we will get reaction as the various uh, parties emerge from that courthouse. But let's get straight to New York and our business correspondent, Erin Delmore. She is outside the courthouse, was inside for that moment of sentencing and describe what that was like. Matthew, it was very impactful. Everybody in the room was on tender hooks, just waiting to see what decision the judge would hand down. And it came after a lengthy preamble by Judge Lewis Kaplan here in this New York courthouse, talking about Sam bankman frieds actions and his behaviors, pointing not only to the crimes that a jury decided Sam bankman fried had committed during the trial, which ended five months ago, but also talking about Mr. bankman frieds demeanor, his likelihood of recommitting crimes if he were released early or with a smaller prison sentence and talking about his lack of contrition, showing that while Bankman Free would say something like mistakes were made, he wouldn't take responsibility. And the judge said that that continued up until this day. And in terms of what is likely to happen, is there any sort of indication from his defense team of any sort of appeal? Well, what we know right now is that a sentence of 25 years has been handed down by the judge including some years of supervisory release, three to be sure. And part of what the judge said amounted to that sentence was losses, he said, that totaled more than $11 billion. This is how he calculated his decision. Now, as you know, Matthew, the defense had been asking for far less, just five to six years. And so we are waiting to see what action they will take further. But for today, that is the number handed down by Judge Lewis Kaplan. Erin, just remind our viewers, because we are talking about billions of dollars, uh, take us through what this man actually did in terms of the fraud, the money laundering. Sam Bankman Fried was crypto's golden boy. He was the founder of the FTX cryptocurrency exchange, where customers could come trade their dollars and their pounds for cryptocurrency. And he assured those customers, as his, as his FTX crypto exchange was collapsing, that their money was safe. But when customers went to withdraw their funds in November 2022, the funds were not there. And a jury found that that money had been moved to a hedge fund, an investment fund called Alameda Research, and that Sam Bankman Freed used that money to enrich himself in his inner circle, to make political donations and charitable contributions, to buy luxury real estate. And so when customers went to pull their money out, it wasn't there. Erin, for now, thanks very much. Uh, that is our correspondent there at the courthouse. If there's more reaction in New York, we will return there. But let's bring in our cyber correspondent, Joe Tidy, who was uh, the last person to actually interview Bankman Freed before he was arrested in December 2022. Let's start there, Joe, because when you did that interview back then, what was he like? Well, he was the same as he's been throughout the, this, this trial. He was uh, saying sorry. And he was saying all the right things in terms of showing remorse, but never admitting to any deliberate criminal guilt. He said, I made some terrible business mistakes. None of it was deliberate. And I asked him, well, it's either incompetence or fraudulence. Which one was it? And he, and he leaned towards uh, incompetence without actually saying that. And that's the kind of uh, defence that he and his team have, have portrayed all throughout this trial. The idea that he was a maths geek who was just completely out of his depth, didn't know what he was doing, really bad records, bad auditing, uh, didn't really keep a record of where the money was and where it was going. That was the claim. But throughout the case, we heard from a, a queue of different people who worked for him at FTX or Alameda, including his ex-girlfriend, in fact, saying that he, knew, he did know what he was doing. It was all deliberate. He knew exactly what he was doing with people's money and that he had a, a wish to become uh, rich and powerful in spite of what he was portraying to the public as being a a shabby uh, person not really interested in personal wealth and more interested in giving to charity.